Alright, I got a big box of apples today, so I want to dehydrate them because there's no way I can eat them all fast enough. These are Junami apples. They're really delicious. Um, there's a couple different ways you could dehydrate them. I'm going to show you a few. And you can choose whichever way you like the best or use a combination. Okay, this way is using some candy. Um, the first one that I saw was using these was just using red hots. These are just some generic cinnamon hearts, same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the pot and I'm going to dissolve all of these into the water. You want to keep it really concentrated, so don't use a lot of water. Just enough to make it so you can you know make it all liquid. And then we'll dip the apples into it and then dehydrate it. And just enough water to kind of cover them and uh, we'll just keep stirring it until it's all dissolved. Alright, it's boiling now so I'm going to keep keep it stirring. I turned down the heat a little bit. You can see it's starting to melt there. You can use any other hard candy. I've done this with Jolly Ranchers before and it was pretty good. Alright, if you're going to ever dehydrate apples you need one of you need to have one of these tools here. It's an apple peeler, core, slicer, all in one. Um, this one has a su suction cup on the base. Just go like that and then it's stuck on the table. And so all we have to do is just push the, the apple on there. Um, which we gotta pull all the way back. This is a quick release here. I'll pull it all the way back and then peel the apple. Alright, so we just turn it, and this right here will peel the apple, while this right here slices it and cores it. Voila. All I have to do is take this off, slice it in half, and then I got a bunch of pre-made slices all ready to go. Alright, so there's one apple right here. That's on one tray. There's nine trays total in the Excalibur, so let's say I get around 30 to 30, 36 apples probably is about what I'll end up getting on here. Alright, there's four apples on here now. So one whole tray, four apples. I'm going to leave these just as they are and continue on by doing a different method. Alright, here are my cinnamon candy syrup now. What I'm going to do is make you know some more apples and just dip them in this and then put them on the tray. I have some aluminum foil underneath it so that I don't have a big mess to clean up later. Oh yeah, that looks good. Um, I only dipped one side of the apple in and then put the side that didn't get any on down. Hopefully that makes it so they don't stick too bad. But they'll, they should come off. Because this, this stuff is actually pretty non-stick, you know, stick resistant. Alright, I'll probably do one or two more trays like this. I had to put them a little bit, you know, further apart from each other because I didn't want them to stick too much to each other as well. So I only got about three apples on this one. Alright, I'm going to make some cinnamon sugar real quick. Just mostly sugar and then you know, a bunch of cinnamon on here. And then I'll mix it all up together. Probably a lot more than that. There we go. That'll be about right. So you can see about the ratio there. And no, I'm not going to do the cinnamon challenge. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, put it all into a shaker. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Here's a, another tray of apples. These are actually uh, Pink Lady apples. Uh, as you can see, some of the um, red hot red syrup stuff dripped through the other trays and onto this one. But it's not going to hurt it any. It's still going to taste good. It's all sugar anyway. So, um, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on here. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite ways to make apples because it's 
a little bit quicker and not as messy as the uh, other stuff. Right, as you can see, a nice generous coating of cinnamon sugar on there makes them taste a little bit better. Okay, all nine trays are done. Top row normal. Those two have the the red hots on them. The rest have cinnamon sugar. And it's about 30 apples total. I have the uh, temperature on 135 and we're probably going to go for about 20 hours. These take a lot longer than, than jerky does so I'll show you the finished result when everything's done. <clears throat> Alright, here we are halfway through the drying process. I took all the trays, flipped them around so that they could get even drying. As you can see they're shrinking qu quite a bit. So, this should be ready in another 10 hours. Alright, here's the finished product. Again, they shrunk quite a bit, so you got to be careful when you're eating them because uh, you think you're not eating that much, but by the time you've eaten a couple of these, you've almost eaten a whole apple, so be careful about that. Here's the uh, ones that were with the Red Hots. So, it actually turned out really good, and uh, it actually kind of dripped down on top of a lot of the other ones, so I got a few down here that have some of it on it too, but I don't care, it tastes good. I want some. Okay. <laughs>